Hi everybody, let's go through some practice examples stating whether the following numbers are irrational, rational or neither. We'll also break it down further if necessary. In the previous video, I went through the number system and I went through my summary of the number system, explaining each of the different groups of numbers. So if you missed that video, please click in the link in the description box below. But here's my summary on the number system. If you want to pause, take it down. But the purpose of this video is to actually practice. So state if the following numbers are rational irrational or neither. So remember, a rational number can be written as a fraction in the form of A over B. And we said that that includes, so I'm seeing a decimal, that includes terminating decimals. So decimals that stop. This decimal definitely stops. As we know, another way to write this would be three over four. So this is definitely a rational number. Remember, the symbol for rational is actually the Q like this, but if you don't do symbols in grade eight or nine, you will just write rational. Okay, we can just write rational. Perfect, done. Remember, 0, 0.75 is not an integer. It's not a whole number. It's not a natural number. It's just a rational number. It's just a terminating decimal. Then I've got square root of 16. And you might remember from my previous video that I said square roots are certs, and that can be included as irrational. But I said something very, very important. I said square roots of numbers that are not perfect squares, like the square root of 15. But if you look at the example that I just spoke about now, I'm talking about the square root of 16. Always see if you can simplify it further. So I get 4, and 4 is definitely a rational number. Not only is 4 rational, it can also be classified as an integer, as well as a natural number and a whole number. There we go. Let's move on to another one. Okay. State whether they are rational, irrational, or neither. So square root of two, first of all, see if you can simplify it further. If you had to type that in on your calculator, square root of two and you had to press equals, it would say square root of two. If you press the S to D button to convert it to decimals, it's definitely going to give you a decimal that is non-terminating and non-recurring. What that means is that the decimal doesn't stop. Okay, it goes on and on and on and on, and it's not repeating in a pattern like 0, 0,33333. The pattern is random. That means that it is an irrational number. Okay, because this gives me 1, 1,4, 1, 4, 2, 1, 3, 5, 6, 2, and so on. So that is an irrational number. There's no way that we can write this number as a fraction. Then they say the square root of negative 2. As we discussed in the previous video, square rooting a negative ends us up with something that we call a non-real number. Square rooting negative numbers. If you do it on your calculator, your calculator will actually say math error. It's a non-real number. So my answer over here is neither because it's not rational. It's not irrational. Remember, rational and irrational together those give me the real numbers. That's supposed to be a heart. <laughs> Those together give me the real numbers. But it's not rational. It's not irrational. It's neither. It's technically non-real. Okay, let's do another one. Pi. I think I use pi as the most basic example for an irrational number. If, if you actually type pi on your calculator and you press the S to D button, you will get all the decimals of pi. That does not stop. That goes on to infinity. Okay. Irrational cannot be written as a fraction. This next one is an interesting one. And I want you to pause the screen and think about it if before I give you the answer. Okay. Remember I said you must always try and simplify things. So if you take a look at this, can you simplify this? So we've got a pi divided by two pi. So essentially... If I wanted to simplify it, those cancel out. So pi divided by pi, okay, that leaves me with a half. Now we can see that a half is actually a rational number. It's a fraction. It's a rational number. It's a rational number. And just remember, it's a fraction. It's 0, 0,5. It's not a whole number. It's not a natural number. It's not an integer. It's just a rational number. Okay, so don't be fooled by these. Always see if you can simplify. Okay, what about zero? Zero is a rational number. 
Not only is it rational, it can also be included as an integer. It can be considered as a whole number. Remember, whole numbers start from zero. Whole number from zero. It's not a natural number, though. Okay, then we've got zero divided by two. If you had to take your calculator and type in zero divided by two, you can have zero as the numerator. It is allowed. Zero divided by two is just zero. So essentially, it's the same as this question over here. It's rational, but two divided by zero, that cannot work. If you try and divide by zero on your calculator, it's going to give you math error. This dividing by zero, as stated in my summary over here, dividing by zero gives me a number that we call an undefined number. Dividing by zero is undefined. That means that your answer in this situation would be neither because it's undefined. Okay, what about these two? This decimal is going on and on and on, okay, as indicated by the dot, 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 but even without the dot, 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 it's kind of obvious that it's just repeating in a random way. You cannot write this as a fraction, okay? You can't. It's, it hasn't got a repeating pattern. So this is irrational. This is irrational. What about this one at the bottom? It's also repeating. It's also going on and on and on and on, but it's got a repeating pattern. 0, 0, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. And actually, if you take your calculator and you say 0, 0, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, and you type in enough sixes, which I'm doing over here, eventually your calculator will actually tell you that it is 2 over 3, okay? And you can write this as a fraction. It's basically 2 over 3. So this is a rational number. And again, if you want to go see how the process, the method to write this as a fraction, there's a method. Check out the link in my description box below. But I hope that this has been helpful. Can't wait to see you in another video very, very soon. Bye, everyone.